What's up, gang? Good morning. This is an impromptu live really, really quick. I didn't even send out a notification that I was going live. So I know you guys can catch this on the replay. Um, this is just really a spare the moment thing that I wanted to share with you guys because I won't be able to post a video for the next couple of days. Um, or even go live until maybe next week. So I did not want to leave you guys hanging for the next few days. Um, I did ask a poll on my community tab. And I just want to take a few moments to say that this um, poll that I um, asked you guys on my community tab. This is what we're going to be speaking about in the next live um, or content video. But... First of all, let me just, you know, introduce my myself. My name is uh, Shanika, the lab girl. You guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I am a histologist here in California. And yeah, like my videos, I talk about travel histology, um, histology as far as like permanent jobs. I talk about just a day in the life of a histotech and also, I do a couple content videos on different spots to visit here in California, but my channel is definitely dedicated to histology, new histotechs, histotech students, um, or anyone in that in that um, area who, you know, just want to join the community and join the gang. Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you guys is I do now have the community tab on my YouTube channel, which is at the lab girl. And I asked you guys a question a few days ago. I said, what part of the Frida Carson book do you need the most help on? And would you like for me to discuss? And the choices were histology, special stains, histology, fixation, or all of it. And most of the votes actually went towards histology fixation. 23% of you guys said special stains. 23 of you guys, 23% of you guys said all of it, <laughs> which is, uh, which I definitely understand. And I do have several videos dedicated to, um, to Frida and study tips for Frida Carson, but I have not just, you know, went into each chapter because these are lengthy chapters. And you guys know that as far as time, we can be all day in each chapter, but at least I give you guys a generalized, um, a generalized view on, of what will be on the ASCP. You guys can definitely ask me questions. Um, you guys can hit me up on Instagram, um, or you can um, find me here at the Lab Girl. You can leave a comment on any one of my videos. Question. You guys know I'm very good about getting back to you and I always feature questions and comments in my lives or in my videos. So that way any of the other fellow people, histotechs in our community probably have the same question as you um, or a similar question. Um, so that's really, really good when you guys leave that content and leave that feedback. And of course, it lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my content. So this is just a quick quick live it won't be that long um you guys mostly wanted me to talk about fixation so 54 percent of you guys answered this and you guys want me to start with fixation first things first is that is actually where i would want to start with you guys um i do have a video on my channel where i talked about h and e staining and how to get good h and e quality slides and how to study your histology book um, that's definitely something that you guys probably want to check out. And I'll actually tell you guys what playlist that that is under. If you go to my channel and you go under the playlist tips for students in that playlist, you'll see how to study your histology book, histology, ASCP questions and what questions are on the test, uh, histology questions and comments and ASCP tips. So under that playlist, you'll be able to actually see how to study your workbook. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and get everything ready. 
um, for the next live in the next probably like next week. So just bet on it. Bet on this live being next week. We'll start a fixation. I won't do anything else. I won't try to plan any other content or plan any other content. Let's just um, be ready for a fixation live. And in the fixation live, we're definitely going to talk about some things, you know, in fixation chapter. I definitely suggest that you start with fixation. I always say that because fixation is the very first step whenever that biopsy is done. So I like to visually go from beginning to the end. And if you guys do that, then it would definitely help you with the flow of the specimen, which would definitely help you visually, especially if you don't work in a lab. Um, it will help you whenever it's time for you to start your test or to do, you know, do the ASCP. So just really, really quick. Um, we're going to do, I'm just going to look at the front of your book. So if you have your Frida Carson book, um, there are the objectives and in the objectives, it tells you what the student should be able to do. And I've always expressed to you guys, make sure you read those questions in the front for your objectives. Okay, so this live, once we start to start on fixation, it will probably be multiple parts of that live because I understand that I can't do everything in one full live because normally I'm on live for maybe like an hour. So it's definitely gonna take a little bit of time for me to break down things that I can try to remember what was on the ASCP, try to get you a few um, ASCP questions that go along with the actual chapter and try to remember how I actually broke things down. Because once I start to look at my Frida Carson book, there's things highlighted. Um, there are things that will probably try to jog my memory. Like, okay, this is what I use to remember this, this fixative, or this is what I've used to actually like try to remember what's inside of each fixative and that is major major key i mean i try to tell you guys because this is this chapter is just as important as special stains so with these fixatives there's so many different types of fixatives and they do different things to the tissue but whenever you are in your actual histology job you'll notice that we either always use formalin or we use glue to outer hide, especially for muscle, for EM samples, um, or we use alcohol if we're fixing something um, that is a fresh specimen, it may be received in alcohol. Um, and then it goes like straight into, you know, the H and E staining, especially if it's manual. And if it's like just maybe some type of smear or some type of, um, some type of something that didn't have any type of formalin fix. So, you'll probably see like maybe two to three things in the lab on a daily that things are fixed in. But Frida Carson wants you to know all the fixatives and what they do. So in the next live that I'll have planned for you guys next week, we'll go over some of these questions um, as much as possible. Um, once again, I'm not <laughs> your teacher, or your professor. So I don't, know things i don't know a lot of things because me doing real life work and me trying to teach you guys actual book that is a lot of information and i don't want to give you guys any wrong information so i'll only share with you guys what i know and i'll share with you guys some hints and some tips to be able to remember or to retain as much as you can when it comes to fixation so what i do want you guys to make sure that you study is um, define the purpose of fixation. That's that's the number one question that's in your book, right? What is the purpose of fixation? The second thing is to define these terminology or the terminology that's in your book, autolysis, fixation, artifact, pigment, non-aqueous, coagulating, additive, hypertonic, and isotonic. Um, cause you will see artifact within your tissue after your tissue has been stained and everything, or if, if things are delayed fixation, there can be some type of artifact. So you want to definitely know th what those terms mean. Um, the biggest thing is to make sure that you, if you got the same book as me, um, identify the properties, functions, and actions 
Determine whether each action is an advantage or disadvantage of each of the following reagents or solutions. So make sure that you guys know all of the chemicals that are in all of these fixatives. B5, Boon, Carnoy, Gender, Healy, Holland, Orth, Zamboni, Zinkers. You guys, right, like right there, you guys, that's probably like what, 10 fixatives. So you want to make sure that you know exactly what's inside of each fixative. That's really, really important. That's the main key to your fixation chapter. That's really the main key of remembering what is inside of B5. What is inside of Orth? What is inside of Zinkers? Because I'm telling you right now, these things you will barely use in a histology lab. But for Frida, you need to try to remember what is inside each fixative. So we'll speak about that because I'm pretty sure whenever I look in my BLC study registry guide, the daughter, the purple book that I have, um, I'm pretty sure that I wrote like little tips on how to remember what may be inside Orth, what may be inside Holland, what may be inside Gender. So I pretty, I'm pretty sure I wrote different tips down. So I'll try to make sure that I'll go over that with you guys. Um, let me see here. Compare and contrast Zinker and Healy fixatives. So I want you guys to make sure that you are reading all of these questions. Go over these questions and answer these questions. And I cannot promise you guys, but what I would try to do is I will actually, there's 24 questions in the front of this chapter. So <laughs> to be on the same playing level as you guys, if you guys will promise to make this live, then what I would do on my end, I will go through these questions and I will actually answer the questions or as many of the questions as I can and go through this book if, and make sure that I can answer these questions myself because maybe I need a refresher as well. So just like in number 17, it says identify the preferred method of fixation or lack of fixation for enzyme histochemistry. Now in school, I probably wouldn't have known that answer, but because I actually um, am in neuro, we do enzyme histochemistry. So for fixation for enzyme histochemistry, there isn't any fixation. So I will put lack of fixation because once I cut that fresh specimen, I don't fix it in anything. Only thing that gets fixed is for EM. So everything else is a fresh specimen that is ready to go right into the enzyme solution that I'm making for it. Um, skeletal muscle cross striations, non um, immunohistochemical staining, uh, EM, which would be glutaraldehyde. Um, and let's see here tissue for trichrome stains. So whenever I do a trichrome stain, that's done fresh as well. So I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. There's 24 questions, but I'm trying to let you guys know because if you are a student or you about to take the ASCP, it is really imperative that you guys try to answer all 24 questions, but I'll just try to answer as much as I can. But my goal is honestly with you guys is to, I'll answer as many as I can. We'll make that the questions for the video. But my goal is to make sure within the next, you know, couple of lives that we go through each fixative. And then I will show you guys what I did to retain what's in each fixative and what exactly you need to make sure that you are looking for because it's so many different fixatives. And so you need to know exactly what happened to the fixative or what happened to the tissue. So it may be a difference between a live and the actual content video. So that way I can show you pictures in the book and show you exactly what to look for. And then we'll go from there. Okay. So that is it for this live. Something very, very quick. Um, I'll get everything prepped for this fixation live in a couple of videos. So you guys make sure that you study your fixation questions at the beginning of your Frida Carson book, um, the in front of your chapter, before you start reading fixation, 
answer those questions. I'll be dropping a poll to see how many of you guys actually answer those questions. Do not let me down. But most importantly, don't let yourself down because we're prepping right now. Some of you guys got, you know, the ASCP coming up probably after the holidays or before the holidays in the next few weeks and next few months. So we don't want you just starting anywhere within your book. You want to feel confident that you are understanding the basis uh, of where the tissue start because fixation holds a lot of weight um, for you passing the ASCP. So we'll definitely get into the fixation. Um, I'll be doing a couple more polls. Make sure you guys got your post notifications bell turned on. Um, make sure you guys, if you are finding value in this type of content and if you're finding value um, in my content, make sure that you put replay fam at the bottom of this live or any other live that you may be catching on my channel. And yeah, you guys know what to do. Join the game. We are on the road to 1000 subscribers. So I'm super, super excited. And I will see you guys in my next live and in my next poll. Um, you guys look out for that and have a good rest of your week. I'll see you guys in the lab. Bye.